Fnatic are back at it again, and this time it's with a completely refreshed look into their new clutch mouse. Now the second iteration is still filled with all the love and goodness of the original mouse that we looked at some time ago, I'll leave a link in the description below, but there seems to be a lot of hardware changes that have gone on under the hood, and that's not only benefiting esports players, but also casual gamers as well. So the Fnatic Clutch 2 is primarily made from plastic, and it's probably to keep the weight down while you're playing games. Now the top section is made from a very tough but smooth feeling plastic which is very similar to the original style clutch mouse but the actual sides if you can see on the camera has been turned into a micro dot rubber kind of thumb grip and, and, and sort of side grip on there just so you can get a nicer grip when you're playing games and zooming it across your desk. It needs a palm grip for this mouse to actually feel comfortable which is very very nice to me I mean these are the size of my hands. And it means that I can rest sort of the center of my palm just above the Fnatic logo that's currently placed on the actual back of the mouse. And then I can get a really, really kind of nice grip on that. Um, so I'm not sort of clawing it like this. It's just nicely rested. And that means that then I can sort of rest my wrists on the actual desk itself and I've got full motion control on there. So there is also a secondary logo on this mouse which is on the left hand side which matches the very very top scroll wheel and that's actually an RGB light. Now it's not very in your face, it's actually done quite um, tastefully I think rather than having big kind of uh, RGB strips sort of slathered across the back of the mouse. It's actually done, being done quite tastefully. You can change that between sort of like a solid color, a random pattern or rainbow, which this is set on at the moment, which just cycles through all of the RGB colors on there. So in terms of the buttons on the mouse, you have your standard left and right mouse clicks, which are now using Omron 7N switches, which is very much the same as the original clutch mouse. Now the travel distance is large enough to get some kind of sensory perception. So you know you've actually clicked the mouse button rather than misclicking and things like that. It's very, very difficult to kind of misclick this mouse uh, just from the weight of your fingers unless you ram it against the side of your keyboard, which I've been prone to do a number of times. But the actual travel distance on the switches themselves are really quite nice. Now, they're guaranteed up to 50 million clicks. There's also a two-year warranty with the mouse to back that up as well, so that's always nice to have. But 50 million clicks is a lot of clicks unless you're playing StarCraft or something, you'll probably never um, hit that 50 million mark. Now on the left hand side, now this, I'd say this is a right handed mouse, on the left hand side you've got two thumb buttons which can be utilised on your desktop or in a game. If you want to change the functions of these on your desktops, they're generally set for browsing back and forth on a web browser, so you can go back a page or forward a page, but you can change that inside the software to change the functionality of all the keys. It does have a scroll wheel on top as well, which is also clickable. Um, again on the desktop to scroll down a page or in game if you want to have that as I don't know, throw grenade or something when you're playing a first person shooter that's generally what I would use it for now this button underneath the scroll wheel changes the profiles but if you click that button it changes the lights of the actual profiles uh, which again can be customized inside the software which we'll talk about in a moment so on the bottom there's a lot more character here it's actually got this orange plastic now that Fnatic have decided to put on the bottom and now when the mouse is actually on your mouse pad you can see that it leaves kind of like an orange rim around the outside which I think again is done quite tastefully on the bottom it has these two black pads as well which are kind of kind of raised from the bottom of the mouse and that just aids in pushing over mouse pads a lot easier. Now the actual sensor itself has also been updated to include a PixArt 3360 sensor which is responsible for up to 12,000 CPI where the older sensor, the PixArt 3310 sensor was up to 5,000 so there's a lot more in terms of sensitivity on this actual mouse sensor. 12,000 is absolutely huge. I don't know why anyone would have up to 12,000 CPI while they're playing, that's insane. But if that's your thing, then you've got the ability to hit that kind of number. I think it's only gonna help if you wanna zoom around a, a real-time strategy map super quick, I suppose, to push your mouse as, as quickly to the edges as possible, maybe even MOBAs as well. But at 12,000 uh, CPI, that was very, very much uh, uncontrollable for me, so I didn't set it that high at all. So the Fnatic Clutch 2 also has an acceleration of 50 Gs with a polling rate of 1,000 Hertz, which again, is very much in that gamer's ballpark for, for traveling across the screen with your mouse um, and the kind of the reaction speed to the mouse of the screen is really, really good as well. So as you can probably see, we have paired this with a Fnatic mouse pad. Now Fnatic did send this through as well, um, so we can demo the two together, but it's actually got very much a cloth kind of surface to the mouse. It's three millimeters thick as well, so it's very much a low profile mouse pad. 
Unfortunately, it did come rolled up, so I can't get it, unfortunately, flat against the desk. Uh, a bit of usage, or if you lay it under some heavy books, that will probably help that, or way down the corners or something, I don't know. But mine's very much sticking up at the sides at the moment, I couldn't get it down. But as I say, it's got it's got very much a smooth, kind of softer touch cloth surface on there, um, which you can easily glide the mouse across if you want to make some big sweeping movements. Um, they come in various different sizes as well. This is a medium, which I believe is 380 by 290 millimeters, but they do go up to very much gigantic. I mean, I'm talking about entire desk kind of size. So the whole top of your desk can just be the softer touch cloth. Now there is various different patterns. This one, I say it's got that big Fnatic logo on there and it's been designed actually really well, but you can get plain black ones if you want with a small Fnatic logo in the corner. And the actual mouse pad is called the Fnatic Focus if you want to search that online. I'll leave links in the description to these products as well so you can get your hands on them. So as you may have already been able to tell from my last review of the original Clutch Mouse, if you did see that, I am already a huge fan of these products. They are built and their gaming performance is absolutely superb. I mean, even when I was playing sort of fast paced first person shooter games like Counter-Strike, Global Offensive or Doom or sort of, sort of Quake Arena, Quake Championships, that kind of thing, it worked flawlessly and tracking was really, really nice. Having that sort of high travel distance on my mouse click, I really, really prefer because it not I know that I've clicked that mouse button rather than misfiring um, while I'm in, in game, for example. Um, and the travel distance, having that ability to set that travel uh, sensitivity up to 12,000 CPI, um, even though I never went anywhere near that high throughout my gaming um, experience with this mouse, um, having that ability to be able to get my mouse from one side of the screen to the other in next to no time at all uh, was really, really advantageous, especially in things like MOBAs where you need to make quick snapshot decisions, sort of click there, click there, click there, click there, click there. To be able to get that travel distance without actually moving the mouse that far uh, to get my mouse from one side of the screen to the next um, is was really advantageous, especially um, fast paced games. So when it came to the actual driver, I made the mistake of downloading the original clutch mouse driver and I was getting all kinds of error messages. Apparently that's wrong. Um, I'm not supposed to use that mouse. You're not supposed to use that driver with the clutch too. Now Fnatic have a software called the Fnatic OP driver, which is now new for their clutch mouse. Flick, they've got a second mouse on as well and their streak keyboards, uh, the streak and the mini streak all use this one piece of software. Now it's very much in um, sort of beta at the moment, so it's buggy. I did come across some bugs. The biggest one, a biggest bug I came across is when I was actually trying to um, customize each profile. Now you get up to three profiles on this mouse. As I say, you switch it with this button on top to get to the various different profiles. Usually my profile one is very low sensitivity. Profile two is medium. Profile three is a high sensitivity, so I can switch through them very quickly. Now the biggest issue I had is when I was switching profiles in the software, it wasn't actually switching the profiles in the software. Um, so the edits I was making was only editing one profile and there was nothing going on with switching the profiles in the software. So I've had that bug. I don't know if everyone's experienced that kind of bug. The software is in beta at the moment, so it's probably still being developed and all of the kinks are still being ironed out. So I, I will bear with them on that. Their software for the original clutch mouse was very, very good. And what I could see with this new OP software is that it's very easily um, and nicely laid out as well. So you could understand everything that's in front of you on the screen. And, and the fact that everything is just laid out really neatly is, again, very nice compared to other softwares that kind of throw you into a very in-depth menu um, system and, and give you terminology that you don't quite understand. This is very easy to understand, especially if you're more of a casual gamer. Um, when you're setting one of these up for the first time to your preferences. So with the exception of the issues I was having with the software, as I said, it is in beta. I would still say that this is really one of the best. It's one of my favorite um, gaming mice to use of all time at the moment. It's an absolutely superb mouse. The only downfall that if you've got smaller hands and you all you like using kind of like a claw grip, this mouse probably isn't for you because of its just because of its size. It's a very big chunky mouse, but if you've got the bigger hand span or you just like to sort of rest your hand more casually with a higher sensitivity so you don't have to really move that far, then this mouse is absolutely perfect for you. It's, as I say, it's one of the best mice at the moment. Now I've read 
online that it's a bit difficult in America to get hold of these. I'm not sure why. Um, there is a European shop, um, a fanatic European shop. You can pick these up. They're going for 59.99 euros. There wasn't pounds um, on there at the moment. I couldn't find anywhere. Amazon have them actually at 49.99. That's where we've linked in the description of this video, um, which we have found. So you could pick it up from that pick it up from Amazon as well, but you can get it from the Fanatic Gear Shop. Um, and in America, I think I read somewhere that Best Buy sell them, so you could get hold of one of these mice from Best Buy if, if that's really, if you've got a local Best Buy, I suppose that is. Now, one thing I would have liked to have seen Fanatic keep is the second button underneath or above the profile switching button. It had that on its original clutch mouse. Uh, although it was a little difficult to stretch to, and you had to really take your finger off of the primary left click to get to it, but it's just an extra button. I think more the merrier with buttons on your mouse just to keep you from stretching any further than you already have to with some games on your keyboard. You could start laying up some macros, especially on that one. So a function in a game that you don't regularly use, like you're not gonna have melee here, you'd have melee down here somewhere, but I don't know, throw grenade or something where you can't fire your, the, your gun in a first person shooter anyway if you, if you're throwing a grenade, so you might as well remove the finger from there to click the button on your mouse. I don't know. Something like a secondary function that's not used, I would have liked to have seen a mouse button there to really um, take advantage of that. It's a very, very small issue that didn't really make a difference and didn't doesn't really change my opinion at all of the Fnatic Clutch 2. It's still a superb mouse. So thank you very much for checking out our video review of the Fnatic Clutch 2 gaming mouse. If you enjoyed this video, then click that like button. Please do subscribe to keep up with all of our latest tech and gaming videos. And also let us know in the description what you think about this Clutch 2 mouse, whether you would go for something like this or you're uh, dedicated to another brand like Rockat, SteelSeries, Razer, uh, Corsair. Let us know in the comments what you think. Uh, as I say, thank you very much for watching and we will see you in the next video. And I reckon that's to keep the weight down so you're not pushing a very, very heavy load across your... <laughs> So the f it's a very, very small sort of nick in a, I don't know how you would describe it, to be honest with you.